In an unexpected development that could only come from the annals of modern politics, Donald Trump has taken on a new role at McDonald's. Yes, the former president and current Republican candidate made a surprise appearance at the iconic fast food restaurant in Pennsylvania, uttering the classic line that many a high school student has used to secure their first job. My first day at McDonald's, I'm looking for a job. Hello, Hello President Lincoln. Trump. I'm Derek Jack and Antonio. I'm the owner. Well, that's a good owner. <laughs> Must be a wealthy guy, huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, Thank I'm you. looking for a job, and I've always wanted to work at McDonald's, but I never did. I'm running against somebody that said she did, but it turned out to be a totally phony story. So, if you don't mind, I want to work the French fry counter. Absolutely. Okay, how much are you paying me? How much are you paying? You? <laughs> <laughs> This visit coincided with some playful ribbing from Kamala Harris, the Democratic contender, who recounted her own days as a college student at the register and frying up those beloved golden fries. That summer back in 1983 seems to have left an impression with her political partner, Tim Walls, jesting that imagining Trump behind the counter is almost comical. After all, he might struggle with even the simplest of tasks, like operating an ice cream machine. Hello, everybody. Inda is here. She has, this is Inda, she has an apron for you. Oh, oh, and good job on the oh, first day. I think I should take President off. Trump. Should I take off my jacket? I think so. The press wants to see this. <laughs> oh, you. He's a wealthy guy. He owns a lot of McDonald's. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I think that's good. You want to do that? Yeah. Trump, what's your favorite thing to order at McDonald's? I like it all. I like, <laughs> I like every ounce of it, everything. But I do like the French fries where I'll be working. I listened to uh, Kamala. She said it was so hot. It was so hot. It was such a tough job. But don't you have a man that's been doing it for many years at the French fries, right? I want to learn everything. We're going to see. I'm going to learn how to do it right now. Thank you. Trump's affection for McDonald's is well documented. He was even the face of their dollar burger ads a quarter century ago. Even during his time in the White House, he remained steadfast in his love for Big Macs, fries, and Diet Coke. His security detail routinely made runs to the nearest McDonald's to satisfy his cravings. And who could forget the memorable moment in January 2019 when Trump hosted the Clemson Tigers at the White House, serving up McDonald's burgers and fries on silver and gold platters? Truly a presidential feast for the ages. Again, hit the timer, okay. take it out of the oil slowly, give it a little shake so that we don't get sucked together, sure. and then lower it back into the oil. And then, you want to do the salt over here? Yeah. I did these ones already, they're good. You just okay. got to do that one right there. So grab that. Can we give them extra salt? No, no. <laughs> yep. oh, that's good. Okay. Right there. And then we're going to grab the surprise scoop right here, right. put it into the air, and just give them a swirl. Okay. Step, step up. Okay, okay. Yeah. where's the little thing? Medium fry part right yeah. here, sides, and the bottom. Tight. We got the salt on it. it. Never touches the human hand. Very good. Very nice good. and full. Thank you. Good. <laughs> I love salt. Wait a minute. I spilled some. Just, I'm very superstitious. Now it's over the left shoulder. Now I'm okay. Let's go. Harry, look at this guy. I'm not going to mess with him, huh? How you doing, sir? You look fantastic. Hello. My new baby oh. boy. How are you? Your new baby. How yes. are you? Doing great. How are you? My niece. So this is compliments of me, okay? All right. You go have Thank a good you. time. Don't eat too much, right? I won't. <laughs> you have a great day, sir. Thank you, man. You take care. Thank you, honey. Have a good time. Thank you. It's cute. This is fun. I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, Mr. Look at that. Oh, How are you? Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, you actually have worked at McDonald's now. Versus now I have worked at McDonald's. I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. Okay? She, she never worked here. 
Either way, will you accept the results of the election? Yeah, sure. If it's a fair election, always. I would always accept it if it's a fair It's got to be a fair election. I think I'll get her some flowers. Maybe I'll get her some fries. You're right. That might be. I'll give her, give her some McDonald's. I'll get her a McDonald's hamburger. No, it is her birthday. That is true, right? Happy birthday, Kamala. Happy birthday. See you later. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Mr. Trump, thank you very much. That's a strange place to do a news conference. Wasn't that a strange place to do a news conference? Meanwhile, in a separate yet equally eyebrow-raising spectacle, billionaire Elon Musk awarded a $1 million check to a fortunate woman during a rally in Pittsburgh on Sunday, October 20th. Just two days earlier, Musk had taken to social media, promising daily million-dollar handouts to randomly chosen residents of Pennsylvania who signed his petition advocating for free speech and the right to bear arms. Thank you so much for, I mean, I truly believe everything you're doing, yeah. truly, you don't need to be doing, and I know a lot of us feel the same way. Um, your wealth and responsibility you are using to save speech, and we just all appreciate it. We really do. So thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I think... With the, with, with the Trump presidency, uh, we're going to get secure borders, we're going to get safe cities, uh, we're going to get uh, sensible spending, we're going to get uh, deregulation, uh, so we're only, we have sensible regulation and we can unlock the, the, the power of the giant that is America. This bold move has caught the attention of Pennsylvania's Democratic governor, Josh Shapiro, who has called for an investigation into Musk's actions, deeming the daily cash giveaways as blatant voter bribery nothing like a little financial incentive to sway the electorate. And amidst the fast food antics, Trump has stirred controversy once again, claiming he threatened Russian President Vladimir Putin with a strike on Moscow should he dare to invade Ukraine. I said to Putin, Vladimir, we have a great relationship. I got along with him great. He's a different kind of a character, I will tell you, much different than anybody under. I knew him very well. I said, Vladimir, if you go after Ukraine, I am going to hit you so hard, you're not even going to believe it. I'm going to hit you right in the middle of fricking Moscow. I said, we're friends. I don't want to do it, but I have no choice. He goes, no way. I said, way. I said, you're going to be hit so hard, and I'm going to take those fo uh, domes right off your head. Because, you know... He lives under the domes. Lately, Mr. Trump's detractors have been speculating about his mental decline. There's no sign of such slippage in our Thursday meeting. This revelation came during an interview with the Wall Street Journal, where Trump curiously omitted details about the timing or context of their conversation. He did, however, assert that he enjoys great relationships with both Putin and Chinese leader Xi Jinping, stating that they are well aware he's, quote, feeking crazy. Let's not overlook that back in August, during an interview with Musk, Trump claimed he warned Putin that if Russia invaded Ukraine, there would be bad days ahead. Remarkably, that was allegedly the last time they exchanged words.